hello, and you're here on Oprah, but it's not Oprah, it's Deshaun, otherwise known as Obinoid. Wow! My name's Deshaun, but some people call me Thug Oprah. Yeah! For our first segment, let's talk about freaking terrorists. Today we're going to be talking about the Boston Marathon bombing trial. This included a man by the name of Dokar Zarnaya. Well, I'm going to call him Altman because his name's too hard. The trial began on January 5th. The jury pool included 1,200 individuals. In order to be chosen, the those individuals had to be willing to impose a death penalty if Altman was convicted. And can you believe Altman pleaded not guilty to the charges of the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing? The Boston Marathon bombing was the worst act of terrorism since 9-11. The trial actually began on March 4th this year and Altman's attorney surprised the court by admitting that he actually was responsible for the terror attacks which he had just previously pled not guilty to. Altman faced a total of 30 charges and 17 of those charges came with the possibility of the death penalty. And that freaking terrorist was found guilty on all 30 charges on April 8th. The jury reached its verdict after deliberating for 11 hours. The jury now had to decide whether to give Altman death or life in prison. And that verdict was finally reached on May 15th when a jury decided to give Altman death. And now, let's welcome our first guest, President Obama. Now welcome um, to, welcome to Oprah, but it's not Oprah, it's Deshaun. Uh, do you have anything you would like to say about freaking terrorists? Well, I guess, um, well, I, uh, President Obama have uh, finally officially asked Congress to fight in a three-year campaign against ISIS. And finally, there's some freaking terrorists inside the White House. There were two Secret Service agents that crashed a car into the White House gate. The authority said the two may have just been drunk. But you know what I think? I think that they're freaking terrorists. Next, we're going to be talking about the nefarious NFL. Nefarious means bad or sinful, and the NFL has been seen as very bad over this past year. On April 15th, Aaron Hernandez, one of the best tight ends inside of the NFL, was found guilty of murder and was sentenced to life in prison. The jury deliberated for 36 hours before deciding that Hernandez was guilty of killing Odin Lloyd, a landscaper who dated the sister of his fiance. He had been released from the Patriots on June 26, 2013, the day of his arrest and his arrest was only one of the many headlines surrounding the NFL in the past year. On September 8th, TMZ released a video footage showing Ray Rice punching his fiance, Janae Palmer, in the face inside the, on the elevator. The judge, Barbara Jones, ruled that the commissioner had no new evidence in September when they increased Ray Rice's suspension. So therefore, Ray Rice won his appeal and therefore could be really reinstated into the NFL. But not sure if any teams are going to take it. And also, Adrian Peterson. On November 4th, he was charged for reckless assault of a child inside of Texas. The NFL suspended Peterson for the rest of the year. And finally, let's end it on Deflates Gate. In this past year's playoffs, the New England Patriots were said to knowingly deflate the balls before the game. On May 6th, an NFL investigator released a report that had substantial and credible evidence that the Patriots quarterback, Tom Brady, knew that the team's employees were deflating footballs. Based on the findings of the report, the NFL suspended Brady for the first four games of the season. But Brady will appeal his suspension. The Patriots were fined $1 million and will lose their top two draft picks. And well, that's all I got for today. This is Deshaun, not Oprah, signing off. See you next time on Obinoid.